What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we are going to create and modify a section view to show the interior of a building model. And then we are also going to create an interior elevation from which uh, we are going to activate the four elevation views. And then after that, we're going to modify the elevation view. So after that, I'm going to also teach you how to create a 3D perspective view. All right, so let's get this thing started. So let's create a section. So as you can see here, we are on the ground floor of our uh, model. So what we are going to do is we're going to create a section. Section can be found here on your quick access toolbar, or you can also go to the view tab, and then you can click the section there. So it's all the same. Okay, so I'm going to use my quick access toolbar to access the section. And then you will also notice here, by the way, that there's already section created in this uh, floor plan. Okay, so I'm going to select the section here. Okay, and then I'm going to create a uh, vertical section. Okay, so to do that, I'm just going to zoom into this area. So this is where I'm going to create it. So I'm going to click somewhere here. All right, and then I'm going to pick another point here to place the section. Okay, so right after you place the section, so you can now see the boundary of the section. So you can actually change that one. Okay, so you can change the scope of your boundary and you can select your modify to terminate it. You can also select the section and then if you do not want your section overlapping your model, you can click that uh, icon there so it gaps a segment. So if you click that, it will create a gap. So as you can see, there's a gap on your section and then you can drag that. Let's say, for example, you want to put it here and you can also drag that zoom in somewhere here like that so that it's not overlapping our model so you can click your section line here and then you can go to the upper portion here wherein you can also change the boundary like that and then you can see that symbol there that circle so it cycle the section tail so if you click that so see what will happen here on our tail. So you click that. So as you can see, it turns off the tail. You click that again, and then now it shows the section head. Okay? And you can also use the move tool if you want. So let's say it overlaps with another section. Just click the section, and then you can use the move tool, or you can also use your arrow. Okay? So you can use the arrow on your keyboard if you want, or just turn off the section head. So just click that icon there to cycle the selection okay and then if you want to know what's the name of this section just click that section and then check the properties here and then you can see here that the name of that is section 4 so if you go to the project browser you can see there's your section 4 so you can double click the section 4 here to open up okay and then you can also click outside and then double click the head to open the section okay so double click that to open up the section oops double click there you go so it will now open your uh, section so here in our section view let me just uh, adjust this one you can click that and then you can actually adjust your section there okay so let me just go back again to the floor plan and then after that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that icon again. Or let me just select the tail here. I'm just going to combine it again with the other end of the section like that. Okay. And then I'm going to select this section. And then there's an option here, uh, split segment. Okay. So you can split your section. So I'm going to click the section, uh, split segment. And then I'm going to, you see your pointer, it becomes a, a knife or scalpel. So you can click that if you want. And then you can create your split segment. Okay, so it's up to you. So let's say I'm going to zoom into this part here or to this part here. So I'm going to 
place it there and then if you go to the section again so it's now updated you see so you can type sd for shaded view if you want and then there's now your new section so you can modify your section okay and you can also flip your section you see that icon there so you can flip that to the other side so your section here will gonna be updated as well all right so now another thing that you can do is aside from creating your section so you can also create your elevation okay so let me open up my main floor here double click the main floor okay and let us create our section so let me just zoom into this area here on our women's uh, toilet room okay and then let's create this uh, elevation so let's click the view here and click the elevation tool here so you click that okay so there's now my section symbol so as you can see it automatically points to the nearest uh, structure okay right so let me just put it here pointing down on our south and then i'll just select your modify again after you create your uh, elevation just like your section it will create another view here okay so let us now try to uh, open up our elevation so you can double click the elevation here or you can just double click that arrow to open up your uh, elevation okay and if you want let us go back again to main floor. You can click the square part of your elevation. And then you can see there's a box there. Right? So there's a box. And you will notice the south part of that elevation is already checked. Because that is your elevation 1-A. So if you want to have another elevation looking to this side. So you can just check that box. Right? And then it will add another elevation here. So let's click another box here. So there's another elevation and let's click another box here to create another elevation. So I now have here four elevation. So let me open up my 1-A. So this is how it looks like. So this is now my elevation view. Of course, you can change the scale here. You can change the detail levels here. You can change the visual style like uh, shaded view. Okay, and you can also hide if you want the levels if you want. Okay. Now, um, another thing that you can do here is you can change the scale if you want to put this inside a sheet for detailing. So let's say I'm going to change that to 1 is to 50, something like that. Okay, so it's not that difficult to create your section and elevation. So let's open up 1-P and see how it looks like. SD for shaded view, uh, elevation 1-C. Okay, and then we also have the elevation 1-D. Okay, so that's how you create your section and elevation. Okay, so let us explore another way of creating 3D or another way of creating view, which is creating a perspective view. Okay, so how to create a 3D perspective. So let's do this. So basically, if you're going to create a... If you're going to select this icon, this 3D icon, so it will show you here your 3D model. So this is not a perspective view, okay? So it looks like an uh, orthographic view, right? So how to create a perspective view, okay? So to create a perspective view, so what I'm going to do here is on my ground floor, so let me double click the ground floor, and I'm going to show you how to create your perspective view. So to create a perspective view, you need to put a camera. So how to create a camera? So again, from your quick access toolbar, just beside your 3D icon, there's a drop down arrow. So you click that drop down arrow. So you can see here your camera. So you click the camera. So as you can see the definition there or the function, it says it creates a 3D view from the perspective of a camera placed in the view. Okay, so let me just click this one and I'm gonna place my camera here. So you can specify here. So as you can see by default, it's already perspective. You can specify the height here of your camera from the ground floor. Okay, 
So that's the height. You can specify that. So let me just pick here for the position. As you can see on my uh, status bar, it says here, click to place the eye position at the cursor location. So I'm going to pick here to place the eye location. And then again, you can read your quick app, uh, your status bar. So it says here, click to place the view target. So where is now your uh, view target? So let's say for the view target, I'm going to point it here. And there you go. So it just created now your uh, perspective view. Again, you can change that. Okay. And also, again, let me change the detail level here. Let me change the visual style. Let's say realistic. If your computer is fast, you can change that to pers uh, realistic. As you can see, my laptop is very slow, so that's why it takes some time for it to change to realistic view. Okay, so here in our camera view, you can actually still modify this. You can use your uh, navigation wheel, so you can click that. And then you can use the orbit if you want to orbit your model. Or you can uh, pan like that. Okay, and then you can zoom in. You can zoom out. Okay, you can orbit your model like that. Okay, and then you can select your modify to terminate it. Okay, so let me place another camera. So let me go back again to my ground floor. So let's say I want to put a camera somewhere here. So I'm going to select the camera tool. So click that. And let's say I'm going to place it here for the eye position. Click. And then I'm going to click another point here for the target location. So click that. And there you go. So let us now adjust the boundary. And let's see how it looks like. So that's how you create your perspective view. So let's change that to realistic view. And there you go. Okay. So like what I've said earlier, every time you click the icon here, the default 3D view, it will create a orthographic view, okay? So you can also use your uh, view cube here to change the orientation of your orthographic view, okay? Something like that, all right? So this is your camera view, your perspective view, and then this is your, uh, where is that? So this is your orthographic view. All right. So basically, that's our topic. So that's how you create your section. That's how you create your elevation. And that's how you create your perspective view. So hopefully, you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.